game of high stakes, where every decision is a gamble, and every move can be your last. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to High Rollers here, and uh, we've got a bit of a special theme today for our game in terms of the uh, question material, and uh, we'll go into that in just a moment, but first let's meet our two contestants that we have for you today. First off, our returning champion who, even though he didn't win the big numbers in the last game, <coughs> he still won quite a little bit, uh, quite a bit of money, and he has a total of one sixteen thousand one hundred seventy dollars to his name. Let's welcome back Jose Cazares. Thank you, Mark. Glad to be back. All right. Well, like I said, uh, did not win the bonus round yesterday, but he did win more than the advertised prize in the bonus round, regardless. So that's still very good. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting to win that much last time, but here I am now. All right, well, it sometimes it just depends on the luck of the roll of the dice. And uh, your opponent uh, for this match is Mr. Brandon Hinkle. Hello, Brandon. Hi, everybody. Hi, Mark. All right, we had Brandon uh, earlier in the season. Did not quite come out the winner. Uh, do you think you'll do better today? To do my best, sir. Uh, along with the what questions and the walls go okay? I think we'll be okay. Right. But I should do my best like I always do, sir. And I wish my uh, champion here good luck as well. All right, well, we will see what happens. Good luck, sir. Very good luck. All right. Thank now, you, Jose. Good luck. Let's take a look at the prizes you'll be playing for today. Uh, we're starting off with an exercise bike in call number one worth $2,199. Call number two, set of acoustic guitars worth $1,339. And then call number three, a Chrysler 200 LX. We're over twenty thousand at a twenty-four dollar billiard table, making that column worth twenty two thousand eighty-three. Total value of the board twenty-six thousand four hundred and twenty-one. Yes, one number higher than one of those stoner numbers. I'm not going to say which one it is, but let's load up in the numbers. And column number one is that hot column. So a roll of a nine is going to get you that twenty-two hundred dollar prize there. All right, uh, Jose, you are in the champion's position, so you are going to be using the Z key. And Brandon, you are going to be using the M key. Okay. Go All on. right. Now, here is our first question. In what year was did Elvis Presley's first commercial record release? Was it 1953, 1954, or 1955? <laughs> And that is Brandon. I gave it that. I believe 1954. 1954 is correct, sir. You may roll it. Uh, all right. That's low. And you have a seven to start off. Take seven by itself, please. All right. All right, here's your next question. All right. In 1957... After performances in Vancouver and Toronto, Elvis was supposed to perform in Montreal, only for the concert to be cancelled because of what? Three. Don't miss the theme, but I'm not touching that one. Mm -hmm. Either. Alright. It was cancelled because the Catholic Church forced it to be cancelled. Religious beliefs, okay. Alright. Hmm, that's Elvis me. had a twin brother who was stillborn. What was his name? Was it Jesse, Joey, or Danny? J Jose. Uh, Joey? No, sir. It was Jesse. Uh, Brandon, you it. get to roll. Okay, let's roll away. And you have a nine. What would you like to do? I call him. I figured as such. Oh, oops. Okay. Oh, All right. Boy. There we go. So you've got column number one, Brandon. Very nicely done. 
Of course, you only yeah. get that prize if you win this game. And here is your next question. All right. Elvis sang a song about suede shoes in 1956. What color were those shoes? Jose. They play have listened to this song so many times. They were blue. Blue suede shoes. And the bad numbers are 2, 6, and 10. What do you want to do? Well, the odds are in my favor, so let's roll. Okay. Okay, come on. Now. It's a free, and the only way you can do one it way is... that comes off. Yep. So now we have three, six, seven, ten, and eleven as bad numbers in addition to the two. All right. Uh, next. All right. Here's your next one. All right. For this one, we want you to complete this well-known Elvis quote: "Man, I was tame compared to what they do now. Are you kidding? I didn't do anything but just." Nope. I have no idea. Mm -mm. Jiggle. Jiggle is the word that would finish that quote. Okay. At what time of the day was Elvis Presley born? Was it 4.35 a.m., 4.45 p.m., or 6 p.m.? Jose? Uh, I'm going to say 4.35 a.m. 4.35 a.m., you would be correct. All right, what would you like to do? Uh, let's see. There's five good rolls and five bad. It's 50-50 right now, technically. Wait, no. Three. Well, the two would basically uh, be a three bad roll, so you don't really have to worry about that. The odds would be against me if I were to go for it, so I'm going to have to pass. All right, he's going to pass it off to Brandon. Yeah, I should do my best, sir. Here we go. It's an eight. Oh. There's only one way you can do it, Brandon. That's the it, eight by eight itself. Eight by itself, please. Yep. So now we're down to four, five, and nine. Here's your next question. Colonel Parker was given the, on, that honor, the honorary title of Colonel by Jimmy Davis, the governor of what U.S. state? Was it Texas, Florida, or Louisiana? Jose. Uh, Florida? Mm-mm. Jason, Shedrick, and James would be on your case, sir. It is Louisiana. Well, I, I didn't know, okay? <laughs> uh, Brandon, what would you like to do? I would like to pass to my good friend Jose. Here you go, Jose. All right, Jose. You hate goal. Four, <laughs> five, and nine are the good numbers. And you got the five. Well then, get rid of it. All right, that's going to keep you alive. Now, oh. in what year did Elvis receive the U.S. JCs Award? 1970, 1971, or 1972? Brandon. Oh, it for him. I think it was 1971, I think. Right on the money, 1971. What? All right. 4-9 of the good numbers, Brandon. Here you go, Jose. Good luck, my friend. Not, not a kid. Oh! <sighs> Need a 4 or a 9. There's no way. <laughs> Eleven will not do. Oh. Brandon has won game number one. Good start, Jose. But Jose, no. that was only the first game. No, but I'm fall. I'm loot. Never mind. Let's just continue. I've got to calm down. All right. Well, we're gonna put a new prize in column number one, which is an eleven thousand four hundred ninety-one dollar home office. Call number two. We still have those guitars, but now we're gonna add a desk. That call now we're thirty-five seventy-nine. And call number three, we still have the car, we still have the billiard table, but now we're adding an Apple MacBook Pro, perfect for back to school. That call number 25,081. Board total is 40,951. And our hot column once again is call number one. So it'll be a roll of 12 this time. All right. Here comes your first question in this round, players. All right. In what year 
did Elvis Aloha from Hawaii via satellite take place? 1969, 1971, or 1973? Jose. If it's 69, I quit. I'm going with it. No, 1973. Wow, of course. And Brandon gets to roll first in this round. Okay, let's roll them. And you have a five. Let's do the four and one, okay? All right, the four and the one will come off then. So four is now the only bad number. All right, A Boy Like Me, A Girl Like You featured was featured in what film? I might have an idea, I, but I could be wrong. As much as I respect Elvis, I don't know. Mm -mm. The film was girls, girls, girls. Never. Ah, that. I shouldn't have known that one, but then I know. Right. Okay. Really, Leona? Girls, girls, girls? If He's doing all this question. Moving right. swiftly along. All right. So, Heartbreak Hotel, of course, was the name of Elvis' first number one hit song. What we want to know, players, is what year. Was that song recorded and released? Was it 1955, 1956, or 1958? Jose. Uh, 56. 1956 is correct. And yeah. there's only a four as the bad number. What do you want to do? The odds are very much in my well, favor. Well, why'd Let's you go. roll four? Nels? Uh, Nels, like, no! No! I'm losing the Higgle right now, okay? I don't need your stuff. Oh, well, never mind then. I didn't know that. <laughs> so, Jose, roll. you want to roll, correct? Yes. All right. Go I'm ahead. Rolling. I get it. Double there we go. It's a 10 yes. and it's a double. That'll give you a marker. What? How do you want to clear it off? Thank goodness. I know it was about time I got one of those. Okay. Uh, there's a few ways I can get rid of this. Uh. There's actually Let's two, go. two ways Let's you can do that. Three. The seven and the three. All right, so now we have three, four, and 12 as bad numbers. All right. In what year was Elvis himself born? 1933, 1935, or 1939? Jose. I believe it was, well, I'm going to say 39. No, it was 1935. Hmm, wow. I have a very good shot here. I'll give it a shot. All right. Best of luck. One, Thank three, you, sir. Four. He got a seven. You a chance. And uh, let's see. I believe you can only do the five and the two in this case. A five and two. No shit, Sherlock. All right, so now we only have the six, the eight, and the nine left. All right. What item was Elvis said to collect from every city he performed in? I, I, I can't even tell you. I don't know. Mm-mm. You, you would see this often on police officers' shirts. A police badge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now. It's up to new today. Now, in what year did Elvis marry? 1966, 1967, or 1968? Jose. You got married. Uh, 67? First off, a couple of things. One, 1967 is right. Two, you're probably going to be glad I didn't offer 1969 as a choice again. Yeah, I'm glad you did. Anyways, uh, what do you want to do, Jose? It's going to Brandon. At, at some point, he's got to mess up. All right, Brandon. I did my best. Here we go. <laughs> it's Here a six. Not this time. And there's only one way you can do it. Oh, Another 11,491. So now the 8 and the 9 are the only two numbers left. All right. 
All right, this hairless canine caper was written by Jerry Lieber and Mike Stoller in 1952. It was first performed by Elvis on Uncle Milty's TV show in 1956 and became an instant hit. And as the tale goes, no pun intended, Elvis repeated his performance of this song on Steve Allen's show with the real article. What song was it that he performed? I think I know it. I can't risk giving control to him. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pass. I don't know. Oh, the pain. I know it. Mm-mm. Nels, tell us. Tell them what it is. Is it hound dog? You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Okay, I'm gonna stop singing. But hound dog yeah. was the right answer. Now, pain. What is Elvis's middle name? <laughs> Is it Aaron, James, or Peter? Oh, Brandon. I'm going to take a stab in the dog. Is it James? No, sir. Aaron yeah, is his that name. I, I, I knew it. Yeah, you could have let Nelson, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, sorry. <laughs> uh, Jose, eight and nine are the good numbers. Massive. Massive. No way am I going to take it myself. They're going back to him. I, I get it. He has to mess up right. at some well, point. Well, both of you do have a marker, so but uh, you did pass to Brandon, so Brandon going to give it a roll. Okay, he here we go. Go. The nine. You can't be serious. Are you I cannot move to, to this guy. Okay, it's kidding. going to come down to this. It's going to come hey. down to this. All right. Elvis's private jet was named after his daughter. What was his daughter's name? All right. I'll give this in multiple choice. Was it Kelly, Yvonne, or Liza Marie? Jose. Liza Marie? That is oh, right. Yeah. Okay, now, oh, Jose. Yeah. That's right. Let's, let's think this through, man. Think this through. He's passing it to Brandon. Oh, Jose. I can't look. I can't watch. I can't watch. Okay, here we go. Okay, no, don't do it. Seven. One, oh, one off away. of what he needed. Get it again. Come on. Go. He gets that eight now. It's a board clear and the match. No! Okay, good Seven good struck good again. Good Jose ties it up. Ah, uh, one off of what of what Brandon needed twice. That would have been a board clear and the match for you, sir. Yep, it was. Good job. But Jose does tie it up, and we're going to go to sudden death. So call number one, home office, and now a scooter. So that call number 13,490. Call two, the guitars, the desk, and now a TV, making that worth 5678. Call number three, still has the car. The billiards table, the MacBook, and now we're adding a spare, making that call worth $33,443. Board value, $52,611. And here come the numbers. And wouldn't you know it, it's call number one again. All right. Uh... All right. It's going to come down to this round here. All right. When Elvis met his future wife, Priscilla, how old was she? Was she 13, 14, or 16? Brandon? 14? 14, yes. And you get to roll oh, first in this oh, round. Oh, no, not again. Don't do this okay, again. Here we go. It's a free. Okay, good. I'll do the one and two this time, please. The one and the two, all right. <laughs> Okay. In what year was an Elvis recording first played on radio? 1952, 1954, or 1955? Jose. 54? That's right. Technically, all rolls are still good, so let's go. Right. That 12 would be nicer to run. Come on! It's an eight. Well, 
Uh, let's do eight by itself. All right. All right. In what state was Elvis born? Was it Mrs. Jose? I believe he was born in Missouri. Are you fool? The, no, sit down. It was Mississippi. God damn it, Mark, you did it again! Oh my god, I had a question about that. I, 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 I the you gotta understand that, Nels. Okay, Brandon. Let's do it! Oh, Christ. Low number! <laughs> Nine. Uh, I'm myself, something. please. Nine. I'm not a fool, alright? Don't call me that! No, alright? Alright. I was calling you. Alright. Yeah, Leo. Now, if you do not include the two documentary films, how many movies in total did Elvis star in? 31, 33, or 35? Jose. Films, I'll say 31. That is right. And the redemption. Roll. He's gonna do it. Come on. Give me a marker at least. Come on. <laughs> do it. He needs Seven. everything. Hmm, this is tough here. There's two ways you, get, you can do it, but one of them will clear a call. It. That's the question. Do you clear the column or do you try to keep yourself good rolls? I'll clear a column no matter what. That's just me. I I think, you, yeah, you know what? If I clear the column, that'll leave a three, four, five, and a six, and I think that'll leave more options if I, than get, getting rid of the three and the four, so I'll get seven by itself. Yeah. Alright, I'll clear off column number two. That's and and yep, by I'll doing that, you've good. left all numbers still available with the exception of the two. All right. In Elvis's 1968 TV comeback special, what was the color of the leather suit he wore for most of the show? Brown, black, or blue? Brandon. Brandon was black. It no. was black. How did they give it to him? Ah. It was black. Go ahead and roll it, Brandon. Okay. Seven! And the only way you can do it is the three and the four. Oh, three. Yep. All right. Oh, now, if either one of you rules an 11 on this next one, it'll not only be a board clear, but it'll also give you the match. So, this is very important now. This is very important now, players. All right. All right, what was Elvis's mother's name? Was it Barbara, Lucy, or Gladys? Jose. Lucy? No. Now, before oh. I say it, does anyone in the audience know it? Oh. It was Miss Presley. Who? Wait, what's her to say? It was Miss Presley. Well, well, I wanted the first name in this case. Was it Gladys? Gladys was what we needed. God. Oh, yeah. Oh, I always second guess myself. You gotta go for it, man. All right, Brandon, again. you have some options here. Shit. I wish you the best of luck, Jose. Here you go. Good luck, sir. Well... Jose, don't get too frustrated here. Like I said, if you oh get an 11, you'll not only clear the sport, but you'll retain your championship. There's no way. I'm going to lose to Hinkle. Now, no, now no, don't no, say no. that. You never know what the dice might come up with. Exactly. As much as it pains me to say it, the odds are still against my favor regardless, but... Shut up and fucking roll. God. <laughs> Well, you got turned nicely. Well, it's a four. Now you can't use that, but you did get a double, so you get another chance. Come on, legs eleven. Come on, legs come on. eleven. Give me legs eleven for the love of all things holy. Come on. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, 
Nine. Oh. Brandon wins. Oh. Oh, no. oh. He was close. Brandon is our new oh. champion with three thousand one ninety nine. Congratulations. Hell is wrong. Tinkle. But Tinkle Jose, was... look on the plus side. You do walk away with a two day total of one hundred seventeen thousand one hundred seventy dollars. That is a nice selfie total. True, but and this it's... is coming from the guy who thought that Elvis was born in Missouri instead of Missouri. Uh, nonetheless. Who the uh, fuck are you? Nonetheless, the are you uh, Brandon, let's get phone. you to the big numbers, shall we? Okay. <sighs> okay, it was a good, it was a good game, Jose. You got me ready for it, sir. Well played, sir. So we'll take Jose's controls away. All right, Brandon, this is your first time here this season at the big numbers. You, each number you knock out here gets you a thousand dollars, but you knock out all nine, you get a hundred thousand dollars. Best of luck, and of course. Any double will get you an insurance marker, and those are very important too. Okay. He's not getting it. I'm gonna say it now. I'm gonna pull it now. All I right. Don't care. Well, Brandon, best of luck. Okay, let's let's do this. We we'll often want it. And you start with a seven. Okay, I'll do the seven by itself, please. All right, and that's a thousand dollars. Easiest okay. of thousand you've ever made. <laughs> go again. There you go. Let's do it again. Off and one. Well, that's really? a two, and of course you can only do that with the two by itself. So now you have two thousand dollars and a very important insurance marker. Go again. Okay, let's do it. One word. Seven. Or three, please. All right, it's four thousand dollars, and you may go again. Okay, let's go. Nine. I'll do the um nine by itself. All right. You have to five thousand dollars now, Brandon. I do want to caution you about something. You want to make sure you don't leave the one by itself at the very end. Otherwise, that's an automatic loss. Right, so, so be very careful about that. Go again. Well, Mark. Thank you, sir. And we're off and water. Five. And the only way you can do it is five by itself. Yep. All right. And you may roll again. Okay, let's go. Four. Pass me that marker, please. And there you go, Mark. There you go. You may try again. Here we go. Three does no good. Well, Jose, okay. you predicted that he wasn't going to win it, and you predicted correctly. Yep, man. I'm going to be back next week. To, I'm going to be back in a future episode of Take Down Hankel. I still can't believe I lost well, this guy. Uh, Brandon, you're going to be coming back next week, and you're going to do so for $9,199. Not too bad. Not too bad. So Brandon is going to be back with us next time on High Rollers, and we hope you'll join us as well. So long, folks.